Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 15th to the 21st of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading Aquarius and pull your overarching oracle card for the week. So what do we have for Aquarius please? Angel, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aquarians, thank you. 15th to the 21st of February 2021. Message for Aquarius, thank you. Okay, so we'll see if it falls out. If it doesn't, I will choose. Give it a couple more shuffles. There we go, it's flown out there. So we have manifestation, transformation, very nice energy. If you're in the process of manifesting something, it's recognizing that, it's picking up on the energy in this reading, so very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna pull An angel card. So angels, what's the message for Aquarius for the week, please? Thank you. Power. Very nice. Recognize your power. Lovely, lovely energy coming into your power. Nice messages there, Aquarius. So let's pull some cards and see what else we get. I'm just going to adjust my mic one second. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is, as you know by now, the current issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deep into the message and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. So a message for Aquarius, please. Angel spirits, guides. What does Aquarius need to hear the most? 15th to the 21st. Of February 2021, thank you. Message for Aquarius, thank you. Your challenge, we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Devil is the advice from Spirit. And we have the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, as your outcome. Okay. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel, spirits, guides, message for Aquarius. Okay, yeah, I've got it with a hanged man. This kind of fits very well with the Wheel of Fortune in the challenge position. Um, we have the devil with the two of pentacles here. And the knight of swords we have with the five of pentacles. Bottom of the deck we have the chariot. Let's just clarify this Knight of Swords. Can we clarify this Knight of Swords, please? Generally, it's Gemini for me as a reader. Can be you or just the energy of the card. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Can we clarify this Knight of Swords? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords. Is it wanting to come out? Okay. So we have the Nine of Cups here. Okay. So you are manifesting something. And the message is, recognize your own power, Aquarius, to manifest whatever your heart's desire is. Nine of Cups, heart's desire energy. Um, can be a personal goal. Um, yeah, something that you really, really want to happen. A hope, dream, wish. Because for some of you, it feels now is the time. It's within your grasp. There's definitely this energy of you have the power to manifest something. Very beautiful energy. But the challenge position is saying things are beyond your control. We have two major arcana here. A definite feeling of divine timing, maybe some 
challenges, obstacles, delays, a run of bad luck, causing some kind of delay, feeling stuck because things haven't quite played out. The timing wasn't right. Things weren't all aligned to bring good luck, good fortune into your life. You know, you may have experienced some setbacks, delays, obstacles, um, just things kind of like getting to a certain point and then being let down. You know, it is that feeling of, you know, I, I'm on a run of, of bad luck or things going against me, you know, that kind of energy. But the hanged man is an energy of, of it's definitely coming. The vision is coming. But there are things that need to be aligned. Remember, this is divine timing, divine orchestration. And it feels for some of you something hasn't quite aligned, played out yet. And that's what you're being told. But with this power to manifest, it feels now is the time to take action for some of you. Now is the time to work towards and manifest something very close to your heart, hope, dream or wish, a goal. Because it feels for some of you like it's within your grasp. Now, the Devil card with the Two of Pentacles can signify some kind of instability. This can be financial instability. So, you know, juggling money can mean that kind of energy. Or something or someone or a situation, a negative situation. Devil is shadow energy that has thrown you off balance here. And the message here is, yeah, even though things feel overwhelming, even though you feel like you're juggling but not really making progress in a situation, the expansion is definitely coming. The growth is coming. The progress is coming. Um, and even though it feels overwhelming, it's well within your capability to deal with. You know, know that it's within your power, your capability to deal with. The message is to keep on focusing, prioritizing, using your practical skills, resources, abilities to the best of your ability in dealing with whatever this devil energy is, the negativity, the shadow energy. Um, could be a person. Sometimes, you know, it can be a person in your life can also be a situation that has caused some level of instability. This can sometimes signify unhealthy, toxic relationships to uh, codependency addiction. So it might well be something that you're grappling with here. If it's not to do with money, it could be a situation in your conscious reality that you're grappling to, to deal with or get out of, you know, it feels or, you know, manage, it's that kind of energy. There does seem to be some kind of financial element to this as a predominant energy because the pentacles can be our money career, can be our home, our property, our foundational relationships, people we build our lives with can also be our health. So again, if you've had something that made you feel um, a bit overwhelmed, certainly in terms of finances, yeah, the message is don't let the lack own you don't let the lack own you. You know, the fives of pentacles is the trap that we all fall into. When we focus sometimes on how well other people are doing and how we aren't, we forget to focus on our own path. Because um, when we focus elsewhere and take our energy and power and give that to, to something in our external world, it grows, the illusion grows, the negativity grows. So it feels for some of you, this is a card of refocusing on your path. I mean, the Five of Pentacles can be a card of financial loss. It can be to do with um, changes in your money career status, that kind of energy as well, or something that has challenged you. In the areas that I mentioned before, made you feel lack, lack of self-esteem, self-worth, could be a person here that's affected you in that respect. The message is that even in your darkest moment, we have the stained, stained glass window of the church watching over you. So there's definitely an energy that spirit is watching over you, supporting you manifest some kind of hope, dream or wish. It's interesting because we have the nine of cups, which is the wish fulfillment card, reasons to be thankful, celebration. It's the celebration energy. And for some of you, there is some kind of news that brings change that is connected to bringing some kind of celebration, happiness, joy, um, a personal achievement. 
you know, that kind of energy. It is very much to do with some kind of hope, dream or wish coming your way. So it definitely feels for some of you, Aquarius, the Knight of Swords is some information, some news, um, a message, a conversation, call it what you will, that is very much linking in with raising your spirits, bringing happiness, joy, um, bringing in some kind of reason to be thankful, celebratory energy. So it feels very beautiful here. And you're being told to know your power to manifest something that is going to be to manifest a hope, dream or wish because this is the wish fulfillment card. So it definitely feels some news to do with a goal is coming your way and it's bringing in some kind of shift. Remember the chariot is a card of overcoming obstacles, overcoming the negativity of whatever this devil represents to you. And it's the shift card where you're moving from what was to what will be, you know, from A to B. You know, it's that kind of energy. I'm leaving A behind and I am moving forward to be my goal, my hope, dream and wish. And I'm in the process of doing that. You know, the chariot can be a card of success and victory. Um, can be over your internal demons as well, I have to say. Can be an internal journey of the chariot, but it is also to do with some kind of determination, perseverance, action, taking the reins of your life, being in the driving seat, you know, that kind of energy, and towards eyes on the prize, towards success. Um, yeah, victory victory over what has happened so it feels this is a personal shift card this is progress i definitely feel feeling progress here towards some kind of hope dream wish coming your way and it definitely feels it's to do with what you've been manifesting here so it definitely feels that there is some shift some empowering shift that will give you some kind of reason to be thankful this week that will definitely lift your spirits in some way. And I feel it's to do with money, career, finances as a predominant energy. Remember, the Wheel of Fortune is still turning, even though it's in a challenging position. It feels like it's still turning. There is still that good luck, good fortune coming your way. It's just things haven't aligned. You know, things haven't been divinely orchestrated. The plan hasn't been completely, you know, finished yet. So it feels for some of you that you're beginning to see some kind of progress shift um swift information coming your way this week that is going to lift your spirits in some way i'm going to pull yeah you see i don't have to i've got the three of cups which is again reasons to celebrate and again celebratory energy um the winter is over the spring is here as an extra card it might lead in for a few days longer but it definitely feels for some of you that there will be reasons to be thankful this week something that is just bringing that shift um, that turning point um, towards some kind of victory success overcoming some kind of yeah shadow energy whatever this shadow energy is okay so i'm going to pull a final card aquarius so the message is stay in your power, realize you have the power to manifest, yeah. You know, manifestation is the magician in tarot, so it doesn't surprise me magical blessings has come out. We have whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Lovely, lovely energy. And you might find that you're being assisted by friends, family, people who you have a bond with, people who have your only best interests at heart. I feel like there is some support around you, pushing you forward here. And you know, there is a message that it's leading towards some kind of personal achievement, goal, celebration, where you're sharing those cups with other people. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Aquarius, and I will see you next time. Thank you.